Okay, this is the start of another brew day. Um, today I'm doing Marco's Celebration IPA. And uh, we're just getting our strike water up to temperature. It's uh, 57 at the moment, so we've got a wee bit to go. I'll be right back. Adding our strike water, which was uh, 70, 70, 78 degrees. So I'm hoping with the 6.5 kilos of grains that that's not going to drop too much. have it. So we'll use that again for mash out. Alright, let's get these grains in it. So far. See if we hit our temperatures this time. It was uh, relatively quick going in, so with a bit of luck, we haven't overshot. I don't know if you guys can. Maybe you can't see that. I think 
we're getting pretty close. Look at that. Excellent. Doesn't matter if it's a couple of degree too high or a couple of points of a degree too high. What we're doing is we're transferring from the boil pot down to a small pot, a nine litre pot, and we're going to do the mash out. And that was near boiling water. Just, just hitting 70, so we possibly could have made it a little hotter than I had it. I had it at 86 degrees. Yeah, we've hit 69 and a half degrees, so that'll do, and I'm going to leave that 10 minutes, and then I'll come back. A nice rolling boil. Um, I don't know if you can see that. It's a very vigorous boil. And I'll just grab the hops out. Okay, so we've reached our um, uh, rolling boil and I could not get ma Magnum. Um, Magnum hops that Marco used. So what I've substituted it with is Southern Cross, which is 13.8 alpha acid, so it's a similar alpha acid. And here's 12.8 uh, grams going in for the 60 minute boil, and I'll start my timer. Top addition is 51.4 grams of 
Plum Marilla. I've just used 50 grams. Marco's IPA. And all in one. Uh, 50 gram, 100 gram packet of uh, Cascade, so I'm going to divide it in half. Just a roundabout, I don't have scales. and one is a one minute edition 100 grams of cascade lovely lovely okay so we're down to 10 minutes and we'll add a healthy teaspoon of Irish moss it's bloody good stuff that Irish moss We'll be back here in the background is, is the uh, the alarm on my software. 50 grams of Cascade at five minutes. Cheers. To get all the hot debris in the center. And I'll take a hydrometer reading while I'm at it. Because I'll be interested to see what this bad boy, what this bad boy, what the gravity is. And uh, we are currently sitting at 23.8 degrees. I really want to hit 20, but my yeast can handle, you know, a, a warm start and it'll come down with my temperature controller right here um, yeah so I'm gonna pitch my yeast I made a yeast starter it's the first time I've ever done it and as you can see it's fairly healthy so I'm going to pitch that into this I'm just going to pour it straight in and I'm not going to stir it in and put the lid on and the airlock I do believe I need a little more water in my airlock. Yep, we're good to go. And I don't know if you can see that. The 
but it's already displaced the airlock. So I'll get this shut so that it can uh, do its thing. Set to 20 degrees. I might go 21. There you go. Uh, 